All right, <clears throat> this video is titled Factoring Using the Distributive Property of Multiplication. Please take the time right now to pause if you, if you choose in order for yourself to catch up. Make sure to write all this stuff down as you see it in the video. So the whole idea behind factoring is to take an expanded form. This is an expression an algebraic expression in expanded form, you are then going to use the distributive property and transform it into an equivalent form, which is factored form. The equal sign means that they are equivalent expressions. They are the same quantity. They just appear differently. That's it. Again, feel free to pause it in order to write this stuff down. Okay, <clears throat> a key concept behind factoring is to pull out, if you will, the greatest common factor between the two terms. For example, the greatest common factor of 2n and positive 6 is 2. So 2n divided by 2 is n, positive 6 divided by 2 is 3. Remember to honor the operator. Let me move this up here. Remember to honor the operator when you use the, strip, the distributive property. So you're then going to write it up here. Here is one factor, n plus 3. And the other factor, as you know, is the factor that you pulled out, which is 2. Okay, so, if you're confused, it's okay, it's perfectly normal. I've provided some example problems for us. Take the time right now to copy these down. After you unpause the video, I will reveal to you the answers. All right, so... <clears throat> You've just unpaused the video. Now you're searching for answers. Let's do the first one together. The greatest common factor between 3n and positive 15 is 3. So we'll go ahead and write that down. Okay? We know there's going to be parentheses because that's what factored form is. I'm now going to divide 3n by 3 to get n. I'm going to honor the operator. Divide 15 by 3 to get 5. This now goes in there. It's very simple. 3 times the quantity, n plus 5. If you got that right, give yourself a pat on the back. Good job. All right, let's try the second one. Negative 4n minus 16. The greatest common factor between negative 4 n and negative 16 is negative 4. We know there's going to be parentheses. So now let's divide negative 4n by negative 4 to get a positive n. Let's now divide negative 16 by negative 4 to give me positive 4. All right. Finally, our last one. Negative 6n plus 42. Now, you may have you may have observed that I'm actually starting to skip a few more steps. I'm, I'm, I'm just banking on the fact that you can see how, how simple this is, so it may not have to be as drawn out as it needs to be. Now you know that negative 6n and 42, the greatest common factor is negative 6. You're going to write your parentheses, bring out the negative 6. There you go, is n. Negative 6, 42 divided by negative 6 is negative 7. There's your final expression. 
All right. <clears throat> if you're not as confident as you normally are, then I highly recommend that you uh, rewind the video and get a chance to maybe watch it over again. All right. Again, the key to factoring using the distributive property is to pull out the greatest common factor. All right, congratulations, you've just learned how to factor using the distributive property of multiplication. This is Mr.